Now, Dr. Mehmet Oz, who Oprah Winfrey gave a program on television, she gave an entire program, and as you know, the Dr. Oz show is very, very popular, particularly with the woo-woos, because Dr. Oz is an established woo-woo. Now, he is a cardiac surgeon, and I have great respect for his professional uh, ability. I, I've heard that he has a great record as a cardiac surgeon, and uh, I certainly would submit to his scalpel if and when necessary, if I had to. Certainly, I would... I would not hesitate because I believe that he has great skill in this direction. Now, I also have a bit of a videotape that rather discourages me. It is that uh, taken of Dr. Oz with the mask on. He's doing cardiac surgery on the patient on the table. And uh, he's interrupted by a clapping noise. He looks over and he sees sees a nurse approaching or a person in operating room guard with the mask on and the hat and the whole thing and the gown. And she comes over to the table. He steps back with the scalpel in his hand, in his raised hand like this. And he, he steps back. And this woman walks around the table doing this sort of thing with her hands. And I recognize what this is. This is that <laughs> evening out the human aura. This is, is TT, therapeutic touch, which is not therapeutic and doesn't involve touching, but that's no surprise in the woo-woo world at all. She is doing therapeutic touch, evening out the human aura of the person who's unconscious, one hopes, on the table, anesthetized, so that his or her heart can be operated upon by Dr. Mavadaz. And as soon as she's finished doing this little gesture, she claps her hands again and walks out of the operating room, or at least off camera, and Dr. Oz goes right back into the operation. Whew. When he announced that he believes in homeopathy and recommends it, I was not at all surprised. But it is a further symbol of how uninformed so many well-educated and otherwise well-informed people can be. That this cardiac surgeon with this huge reputation believes in a thing, first of all, like therapeutic touch, and then in homeopathy, which has been tested and tested and tested again and again and again over the long years and has never passed a proper test. By a proper test, I mean a double-blind test a test which is randomized properly, of course, and I've read up all the literature on that I can possibly find. And most of them are not double-blind tests at all, and if it's not a double-blind test, under those circumstances, it's totally useless. I think any person, any statistician or experimental designer would agree with me on that. I'm just shocked that Dr. Oz also believes in such a farce as homeopathy. That's my two cents worth. No, it's about 25 cents worth, I guess. Thank you. This is James Randy. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.